Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Alright, enough messing around. It is apparently up, there's a bench. Is it on that one? Is that the bench? Yes, that is the bench, I spotted, no. What? It's gotta be one of these. It's gotta be one of these. Has to be. It's not there. Seriously? Maybe I've already picked this one up. Maybe I've already seen this. But that's on a winding road overlooking the town. There's a bench. Have I already got this one? There's more winding road up there. Maybe I need to go further up the hill. Huh. All right, let's go further up the hill. Let's um let's well, I was going to say drive across the lawns, but people might get upset if we do that too much, so we'll try and stick mostly to the path. Is it Mahindra? It can go anywhere. That's the advantage of them. They, they, they can go anywhere. Right, so we'll come back onto the road, and we'll go on round to the next layer, and we'll see if there's anything up here. There's more benches up there. We've still got a chance. This, this could still be it. We haven't been up this road before. We've never been along here. This, this is seemingly promising. I can't actually get my Mahindra up there, but I can drive along here, and I'm sure... Yeah, there is some benches here. There's several benches here, actually. Can I get onto that path? I get through here? <laughs> yes, I can. I will fit. I will make it work. Because I don't want to walk. Too lazy. Right, it's definitely not there. Now we need to do... A, has anyone ever seen... Um, uh, what's it called? Austin Powers. I don't think I've actually seen the film. But I've seen a video clip of Austin Powers doing a 300 point turn in a corridor. A little tiny... The vehicle doesn't actually look all that different to this one, to be honest. Um, it's quite funny. I just suddenly reminded of that instance. And there's nothing on these benches. Can I get through? Okay, apparently I can't get through there. Might have to go this way. No! I was doing so well! Ah! Come on! Oh, I thought I was going to be able to make it. It's... it's the corner. There we go. We do another bit of a 300 point turn. We can do it. We can We can just fit. Can I get through there? Yes. Okay. We're through and we're out. So we've done that bit. We need to get on up to the next part of the hill, which means i got to go up here and get in there. I've got more benches up here overlooking the city. This this, this has got to be it. I, I'm not going to risk taking the Mahindra through there. I think that's just going to cause problems. So it's not that bench. There's more up on the top layer. Layer? La layer. No, 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 no. And I've got another one there. There's nothing on that one. Let's go on up. There's nothing there. You said the benches! Yes! 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 It is the benches! There it is! We finally got it! Our hard work has finally paid off! That is amazing! Right, we have one more to go. I've just got to find out where it is. So even though I've got a guide telling me where they are, I still can't find them. I mean, it's looking over the town. We did have that bit right. Apparently it is far to the south of the map and looking at the screenshot of it. So we found one here at that restaurant that was right there. We did manage to find one up there. But there is another one that says it's far to the south of the map. Uh, now I'm looking at the picture. Where it says far to the south of the map, we've got... Is that the bit? No, that's not it. That's not it. I'm just genuinely confused by what they think is far to the south. 
I don't think it is far to the south of the map. I'm wondering if it's maybe far to the north. And they've got the map up. They've got their map upside down. They must have. Oh, okay. My mistake. They didn't have the map upside down. Uh, what I thought was buildings wasn't buildings. It's trees. It's around here. I think it's near that building there. It's on. I, it, it's on a barrel, but beyond that, I don't really know a lot. So we got to get up there. That's that's where we got to head. So let's jump into the Mahindra, and then we can take the Mahindra home at long last. Right, we've been we've had this one out for a long, long time now. So we need to go much further south. We've got to go higher up into the mountains around here. You are drifting. And just keep on going. So once we get to the end of... Let's try staying on the road a little bit. Once we get to here, we've been along this road a bit before. But we want to turn left here. I think we came down this road when we were looking another time. And... Yeah, we came down the mountain there, I think. I think we did. And I believe it's that house up there that we actually want to go to. So we go past here... We stopped at this bridge and we had a look round here. That's where I thought that I would find one, but there wasn't there wasn't one there. It's around this house. This house right here, there is one around here somewhere. What we want to do is there's a bin. We're looking for a bin. Now, I don't know if it's up there where there's a wall up there or something. Let's have a look around. Aha! That's the last one. We found the final truffle. Cheese it! Anybody up for some fondue? Okay, we have got all of them, and that gave us the final 10 grand. So we now have 49,914 euros, which is really, really good. It's still not enough. We need 60,000 euros. And the reason that I would like to get the money now and buy the spinnery so soon is because then we can start processing the wool through the spinnery. The faster we can do that, the better. Because as soon as we can start processing it through the spinnery, um, we'll start having the output of the fabric, which means that we can stockpile the fabric, and then we can sell that in the spring when the price is at its highest over at the supermarket, and we make our money. If we got to wait until the spring when the price is at its highest before uh, any of it starts being processed, that's going to take an awful lot longer and it means that we also we then have to wait another year to get the good price or we sell it at a lower price and we don't want to do that because it does take a while for each um item that we process it takes time for it to be processed it does actually have a it, it's not an instant thing you've got a it does a little bit each month you've got x amount kind of like the greenhouses you put water in and you get the the fruit and vegetables out you only get X amount per month. You don't get loads and loads and loads of them. Um, like it's, it's not an instant production. It's It drip feeds them over time. And that's what this is going to do as well. So we got to be a little bit careful. We've got to choose how we do this just right. Let's carry on up here. Uh, right, we're going to go and park this one in our invisible shed up here. I'm really annoyed that that happened, by the way. I'm still really annoyed. Not, no, I'm not letting it go. Right, there's a shed right here. It's supposed to be a shed, but the shed, I was having issues with it. It wouldn't update properly, and so I removed it, and now I don't have shed, and I wish I hadn't removed it, And but I did, and yeah. It's just, it, it, it all went horribly wrong. Right, let's have you out of there. And I'll put you in here. Now, what I did say was that in order to be able to auto-load um, pallets of wool, I would have to move them with pallet fork first. And I think we'll stick with that. I think we will stick with that, because we've got a pallet fork. So let's go and get our pallet fork. Start the tractor up. Uh, I'm actually going to have time going on a bit fast now, because we've got enough... Oh, wait, there was one thing that we wanted to do. That's growing. Soil composition. Really? We got no weeds. If I I have got weeds turned on, haven't I? Could have sworn that we like. It surprises me that we don't. Yeah, weeds are turned on. I'm genuinely surprised that we don't have. We we do have a few weeds have come through just there. It's like a couple little patches, but for the most part, there's no weeds, which is weird. Why have we got no weeds? 
field should have weeds in it by this point. Hang on a minute. I got crop destruction, but I think Mahindra can drive through most crops without causing any issues. I'm not going to drive on the field. Well, it's on the first growth stage, so it doesn't matter. But what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to do a little bit of a cheat here. Now. There is, according to the map, some weeds growing down here. And there, you can see them. There you can see them. So I'm going to turn you off. Right there. And... There, we have just a few small weeds down here. There's only a little tiny patch. It's not worth me going and buying a weeder to go and take care of that. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to go back to this one. And we'll change this round so that we've got the... We'll put the weight on the back. 49,900. So we need 10 grand. We can get 10 grand by selling stuff from our greenhouses, eventually. We will be able to. I want to move some wool out of the way at the moment. Uh, what is the prices for the greenhouse stuff? Right now, how are we doing with those? Oh, it's not up there, it's down here. There we go. Strawberries. Yeah... Uh, Right now they are rock bottom, so we'll hang on to them for a little bit. And the same with these, they are also rock bottom. So January is the best time. 270. I mean, there's not a massive fluctuation in the prices on there, so it's not going to hurt us too much if we do go and sell a little bit earlier. I would like to sell. I mean, I'm not going to sell right now because the price is actually right down as low as it can get. And... I'd rather, you know, get at least a little bit of money for, for our stuff. But we've got that trailer. We've got that trailer. We want to take that one down and we want to sell that one, don't we? We, we don't actually need that trailer anymore. Um, you, I want to go here and I want to see what the estimate... So that's 8,000 for the trailer. Huh. I think it would be worth driving down fairly soon and doing something with that. Not just yet, but quite soon. Now, unfortunately, these pallets are going to be rather difficult to move because I need to pick them up this way, which is going to be extremely difficult to do with the tractor, although I did say that that's what I was going to do. But this is not going to be an easy manoeuvre, although, once again... A lot of complaints about pallets, um, physics and stuff like that, and how they're terrible and awful. But that seemed pretty good to me. I got no complaints with that. That just kind of like slid straight in and we had no issues. So I'm going to try and get the second one on there, if I can. Are you going to let me pick you up? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, 2,000 litres of wool right here. I want to turn that into... 2,000 litres. Well, I don't think it does. I think it does uh, three wool for two fabric or something like that. Um, but anyway, it, it does. It, it will give us transformation. So I've got a bit right there. There. I mean, yeah, it does dance around a bit, but mostly I think that's down to pallet forks on the tractor rather than anything else. So let's go over this way. It would be nice if those pallets were around the other way. A lot easier to pick them up. Can I pick them up? I know that with some pallet forks, you can actually adjust them so that you can pick things up from the other way, but I don't think this standard one here, you can do that. Let's have a look. Uh, nothing on there. Driving, toggle, cruise control, AI. If I do that, that's just that one. This one is... Oh! Haha! It does work! You can, you can adjust the dis... That's fantastic! That's what we want. We want to be able to pick them up this way round. See, you put the, the pallet forks right in narrow like that. I know I'm sort of coming in twisted sideways on that, so it, it made it dance a little bit, but that's more my fault than anything else. You can drive that one up over there. I've got two pallets I can go and get there. From this point up here, I'm not going to worry about uh, having to use the pallet forks or anything like that. 
we'll just drop these down here and then when we're ready to we'll we'll pick them up and <laughs> okay that didn't work quite as well as we would have wanted but off the pallet forks and nobody was killed so those are, those are the important things to remember there were no casualties and it is off the pallet forks everything else is just you know fluff work there's nothing else that we need to worry about there were no casualties and it's off the pallet forks I don't know how many times I'm going to do this we, we, we might just decide to pick them up most of the time let's slow you down a bit shall we pick you up Ooh, might not like that I've gone and moved that other pallet now it might not like that I've done that like that at all. How are we going? Is this going to come off the pallet forks easy or is it going to do the same thing that the last one did? It's going to do the same thing that the last one did. Didn't like it, so. uh, really, really doesn't like it, does it? Even when I drop it off like that. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, so it's quite difficult to do it end-on with the pallets. That is a bit more of a challenge. I'm going to just park this one up here. There's no reason for us to do anything else with it just now. And... I'm... Yeah, if that one there was moved around. It'd be interesting to see if that one still loads up. Let's skip the night. 49,994 on our total cash at the moment. Actually, I want to just... Go forward to 1600, 1800 rather. Let's see if that does actually. It does. It reaches fill, a full 50,000. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna put that to 30 times speed, and then I'm gonna do that, and I'm going to sleep the night. And I have 49,732. Drop down a little bit. Uh, the wool in here. It's still putting it onto that pallet. That's absolutely fine. Water, 750 litres. Everything seems fine with the sheep. We are still... Uh, everything Everything is sort of ticking along quite nicely. The... <laughs> 251. Oh, it's up here now. Well, it's gone up a little bit. That one hasn't gone up quite as much. 479. Up a little bit. It does go a lot higher. I think we'll wait one more month before we try and get rid of any of that. This, we've now got another pallet there. That does seem to struggle with picking them up end on. Or at least it seems to struggle with letting them go again. But we got four pallets there. There's 4,000 litres. And then we've got some more over that way. Having a less, uh, check the weed situation. It's quite an important one. If we don't get any more weeds than just those little bits there, because somewhere, I did hear somewhere that if you plough the field before you plant your crops, it doesn't actually grow weeds in the first season. Now, if that's true, that's actually quite a good way of like not having to deal with any weeds. Like the, the ploughing, if you've got time... Put in a, like doing a, a ploughing job is is fairly straightforward. It's a fairly simple thing to go and do. So maybe we could do that in future. Now animals, uh, water. It's about half full. Water there is about half full. I don't want to go and spend any unnecessary money on things like water just yet. Uh, I've got nothing here that I need to worry about. That is... Well, 165 litres. It's still coming along quite nicely. I don't think I've got anything that I need to worry about. Nothing that I need to go and buy. Everything's got all the water and so on that it needs for production. The greenhouses. Let's just check those. Yeah, they're fine. I've got plenty of storage space for the strawberries as well. So let's skip through until November and see if we can get a better price for the greenhouse produce. Because that way we can afford to go and buy our first spinnery. 
and, well, first spinnery. We shouldn't need another spinnery. I think one spinnery should be enough. The idea, I said I want to get two pallets of um, clothing. That's all I'm really after, is we want to produce two pallets of clothing. And, and I also want to have chickens, so we, we kind of want to wait until, well, getting the chickens, that, that sort of goes without saying. Are you still 100 and... No, no, it's, it is definitely increasing. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Water, 600 litres. They should be producing full now. We've got that full pallet there. And in November, let's go up here. No weed growth here at all. Other than those couple little patches. Which is perfect. That's fantastic. That's what we want. We've got growth stage in here. You can see the weeds are now sort of grown, so you'd have to get the medium hoe in order to be able to remove them, but it's such a small area, it's so not worth buying that hoe, because that's a, a really expensive thing to go and get. Yield bonus 98% across most of the field. There is nothing else that we need to worry about with that. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'm going to go to you. I'm going to go and remove this front loader I'm going to hitch on the two trailers so I'm going to bring this one down here like this you're going to go there I'm going to do that and take that one off like that I'm going to leave the actually I'm going to change the front weight over to the front of the tractor so we'll drop that one down there We'll change it over. We're going to load up all of the greenhouse produce that we can. And we're going to take that with us. We're also going to take two trailers with us as well. I'm going to sell the second trailer because I no longer have a need for that one. We used it for carrying bales around. But now this SEK one will auto load the round bales. I don't need a slightly... Well, it's not even a bigger trailer. Like that one is it's not even a bigger trailer. It's just it was easier to use that one for loading the round bales on but we don't need that it's actually the the bed of the trailer is the same size which I didn't realize i think when i first bought it so that trailer is surplus to requirement and we are going to sell it so we'll come on down here now and i will load up everything i can from these greenhouses it means i've got to just change over first if we go into here we want to Go like this, so left shift Z. Round bale, square bale, and Euro pallet. That's what I want. So now I can just start coming along here and loading this up. And it automatically straps it all down as well. Full auto magicness going on. Three of them on there. And I like the way that it does it as well. It does actually seem to do it fairly well. So I can also take the straps off myself and put them back on if I'm not happy, as we were doing with the round bales. Now, strawberries, we've got pallets stored. I can take... I can pick up three... To, actually, I wonder if I can pick up four. I go like that. Yep. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to wait until I get four pallets dumped out because you get 500 litres for each. So we've actually got a few strawberries stored in the greenhouse. They'll already be out now. Uh, strawberries, 3,200 in there. So there's still six more. I'll load those up. 3,000 there. Now I've got uh, two more pallets still to come out and then I got four down on the ground I'll just wait for those other two to come out come on in your own time there we go put those on and then I've got the last four right here like that that one okay go and have a look here tomatoes so, November, the price at the moment is there. So, it's, it's not a brilliant price. Definitely not as high as it could go. Over here, November, the price has actually dropped a little bit. Seasonal fluctuation, 246. I could wait a little bit longer to see if the price goes up, but I don't actually want to. And the reason 
that I don't want to do that is because I would like to get... I, could, I suppose I could sell that one. No, we still might want that to make more, do more silage to make some more money. Um, so we won't sell that yet. The reason I want to sell these, I, I want to get that wool started. I want to start processing the wool because I don't know how much wool will process in a month. Because some of them, they don't process very fast. I know from doing the time lapse with the cheese and stuff that I was doing on there, um, it doesn't process very quickly at all. Like the cheese, you, you go and take a full load of milk, and in a month you don't get all that much cheese coming back. You can get a few pallets. So we need as much time as possible on this to be able to process that wool. So we've got these pallets here. i got to get these to the supermarket. I can't take the wool with me because that will also sell to the supermarket and I need to sell this first. So we're going to have to come back, get the wool and take it back down again. It's a little bit of a nuisance, but that's why in the next series the farm is going to be a lot closer to the sell points. It is definitely going to be a lot closer to the sell points because I spend uh, quite a bit of time having to run up and down the mountain here. I love where our farm is and I love the fact that we've got that amazing view out across the top. But we do spend an inordinate amount of time running up and down the mountainside and it does get tedious, doesn't it? It does get a bit tedious and we don't want to be doing that all the time. Uh, I mean, we could put the hired help trotting up the mountain if we want to. I might try and do that. First thing I need to do is actually going to have to drive to the... Do I need to? Hmm. We'll go to the dealership first. Drop this trailer off because it'll be easier to do it that way. And then we will go back over to the supermarket. So we'll just go in a straight line here. We'll go across this roundabout right here. Everything hung up just then. It does that every now and then. Just kind of like... Everything kind of like pauses give a massive lag spike and slowly does it in round through and we'll go up to the end of the well not the end of the street the end of the town at least and then we will turn right and we will go into the dealership that way we'll actually go into the dealership through the no entry because I'm a rebel and that's what I want to do. See? It says an arrow. Well, it does actually have a no entry sign. It's got an arrow on the ground pointing out. But it doesn't have a no entry sign. Okay, and then if I switch over. Now, I have been told that if you paint a vehicle before you sell it, you get more money back than. We know that works for. Um repairing it. If you repair it before you sell it, you get more money. But I've been told if you bring it back and you repaint it, you get more money back. So, at the moment, the repaint job is 409 euros. So, repair is 6 and it's 4733. So, if I repair, we got 1 euro extra on top. So, 4 so 740 8740. We're spending Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.